So good afternoon, everyone. And thanks again uh, for inviting me and for this opportunity, mostly to CAROC, like Council of American uh, Overseas Research Centers and Center for South Asian uh, Research Center here. And thanks to uh, Samira and Shamshita also for all of their, your help. So my presentation is mostly about the environmental impacts of uh, Rohingya refugee influx in the Bazar area. And why it is a, a major concern like this. Uh, one of the major uh, reasons, like, uh, before this Rohingya influx, like, this area was mostly, uh, like, forest area. Like, it was managed mostly by the forest department. And after, uh, like, and when the Rohingya refugees came to this area, like, to an, more than uh, 2,500 hectare forest on to campsite. So this is one of the reasons, like, why environment is in the front line after, uh, for this, uh, Incident and like we are recently published like one paper in science and one policy paper from Washington like with Center for Global Development and it's much more about like forest landscape restoration and environmental impact uh, after this area uh, after uh, Rohingya influx in that area and like after we published our work like we are also consulted by the parliamentary uh, committee for environment forest and uh, climate change and like it was also uh, like get attention by our prime minister and like uh, and you can see like uh, in in most of our recent statements like she actually mentioned like what is happening uh, because of this in influx although like it was her decision to invite uh, all this uh Rohingya refugees and it was definitely a good uh, decision uh, at the beginning I, I would say and like it is some of the like many of the uh, newspaper having like in our like and it has been estimated like uh, uh like more than 2000 uh Core taka like uh, the forest loss is worth more than two thousand uh, core Bangladeshi taka, and one of the major consequences of this Rohingya influx is the fuel uh, fuel uh, demand, because most of the people here are deeply rely on uh, fuel load. and even though like uh, the Energy Environment Resource Group recently uh, started distributing LPG. But most of the people are used to uh, cook with uh, fuel wood, and even though they are now given uh, LPG, like many of them are actually selling this to the uh, market, and people are continuing using uh, uh, fuel wood. And because of that, like uh, many of the forests, like even though like uh, you can see like deforestation is around like 2,500 hectare in that area, like many of the forests, like nearby the campsites, are already degraded, and the forest it was one of the largest habitat of uh, Asian elephant before this uh, Rohingya influx. And now, uh, I think uh, there's no elephant left in that area. Like, uh, they were trapped, like around like 50 elephants were trapped at the beginning, but um, recently they really got, uh, and it also caused uh, some human death, like more than 15 people, uh, like killed because of this uh, Rohingya influx. And you see like, some of the report, like I think, uh, I just recently published one paper, like a uh, report, like what ha uh, the before and after uh, situation, um, uh, uh, after the LPG distribution. And what is the ecolog uh, ecological importance of the region? You can see like uh, this is actually one of the most ecologically critical area. We, uh, uh, San Martin, like the only uh, coral island we have is very close to that uh, area. Also this is uh, Tecton Peninsula. This is one of the ecologically critical area for Bangladesh. And Shonabi Island, like this is another uh, ECA. And the area is also like uh, very close to Two national parks, like one is Himchori and one is Techno Wildlife Sanctuary, and also like Inali National Park. It is also very nearby to that area. And what are uh, what activities are actually impacting the environment uh, there? So you can see like uh, first first of all the land clearing for setting up the camp or shelter, and uh, and supporting facilities and roads like this are actually one of the reasons for deforestation in that area. And fuel collection like this is the after working influx like most of the people like at the beginning like they. They had no other way to go to the forest and to collect uh, fire from the area. So it caused a lot of forest degradation even uh, after this uh, influx. And wildlife hunting, like it's not that much, but uh, there is limited wildlife hunting in, in that area. And fishing also one of the common thing like happened, like because the area is very close to the sea. So many of the uh, people used to go to the fish and uh, uh, sea and do fishing in that area. So that caused also the. Um, pressure on that uh, many resources in that area and uh, solid waste and litter and after this Rohingya influx like uh, more than 60,000 uh, 60, uh, latrines and like more than 6,000 water point uh, are installed in that area so that are causing also like uh, pressure on the groundwater reserve in that area so it will uh, already the water level uh, got 
down and it will impact not only the people, also the local vegetation and other facility. So you can see some of the picture, like uh, pe people are like, this is inside the camp, uh, I think uh, from 2018, like so uh, people are collecting firewood from the nearby forest and you can see like uh, what is happening in that area. So these are the campsite like before and after the influx and you can see the red, uh, the pink color, like this is the camp. So Kutupalam is now the largest re refuge camp in the world, uh, you can see. And many of the forests, like even they are green, like they are now very highly degraded. So they're not very much uh, suitable for wildlife or any other you know, ecosystem services. And you can see the after and before situation. So before, like some of the forests, like uh, the good quality forest are like this or that, and now they are uh, they're much more like this. So oh, what happened like after this uh, Rohingya influx? So we can, uh, as I already mentioned, like more than like 2,500 hectare forests have been lost. And forest degradation due to fire collection is also like very prominent in that area. And forest product collection like timber for furniture or housing, like uh, people, are, uh, most of the shelters are um, built with uh, wood or like bamboo. So people used to go to the forest and collect this uh, housing materials from that area. And also the conflict with uh, local host communities and uh, refugee communities, like this is also very common because uh, now the refugee people are actually dominant uh, people in that area. And People, uh, local po people, uh, they are. Uh, they also used to go to the forest to collect uh, forest resources, and there is conflict because, like this thing, like because of that influx, they have now limited uh, forest resources to rely on. So there is a lot of conflict also between local communities and uh, Rohingya communities. And as we already said, like human uh, elephant con uh, conflict is also one of the common issues. Like it already caused like um, more than 15 uh, deaths in that area. Yeah, and um, critical bio uh, biodiversity areas like Techno Wildlife Sanctuary and Hinchuri and St. Martin Islands, they are also in under uh, threats. So these are the things like what happened and what is uh, now uh, happening like uh, to address these environmental issues. Like there's uh, some actually uh, misunderstanding between forest department and other authorities because the land like where these campsites are uh, now located, these were previously owned by the forest department. So at the beginning, they were actually reluctant to get involved in any forest acti activities because they think like it was our land and it is now uh, managed by other people like NGOs or uh, a government officials. So they are very reluctant to get involved with any other any forest activities inside, mostly inside the camps. And also, they are discouraging uh, NGOs also to do any forest <coughs> activities. Uh, particularly, they are discouraging uh, uh, NGOs like to uh, plant uh, fruit trees inside the camps because they think like it will. Uh, negatively affect and people will not uh, likely to move up if they have fruit trees in that area. So they are just asking people to, uh, to NGOs to plant uh, wood, wood trees. And you can see some of the BRAC activities like uh, I was with one of the team, team with BRAC and they are actually planting some acacia. And even though it might be a, a quick solution, it might have a large uh, ecological consequence because uh, acacia is a fast growing tree but it's not good for biodiversity or like it just provides teamwork, like it doesn't have any other things, like so it will not uh, help local biodiversity or ecosystem to restore, so it might be one of the things. So what are the management challenges? Like one of the things is coordination between uh, different NGOs, like uh, forest department uh, are now recently getting involved in some of the activities. So a FAO, they are uh, involved in some restoration activities in some, uh, some of the sectors, like sector 22, sector 21. So so some of the challenges are also like uh, decide like which plant to plant in that uh, which trees to, to plant in that area, and how how uh, we we can engage communities to manage this uh, plantation or this kind of thing, activity, and also like another issue should be like environmental awareness among local mostly uh, among refugee communities and full uh, plantation like even though like uh, LPG is. It, um, a recent solution, but uh, I don't know like how long it can sustain. So, like uh, creating a full uh, plantation is one of the sol uh, could be one of the solution. And degraded forest uh, should be restored, like using native species or some other things, and it could be another things uh, to consider. 
And another thing is land stabilization because um, because of this uh, camps uh, uh, huge campsite, there is a, a lot of uh, soil erosion and other things. Uh, hill uh, landslide is happening, so uh, land stabilization is another critical issue that should be uh, take, taken into consideration. So these are some other things that I will share later. So I think like my time is already done. Thanks. <laughs>